This is the dilated coronary sinus. The coronary sinus is the vein that drains into the right atrium. There are many reasons for a dilated coronary sinus, some of which are highlighted on the links below. In this particular case, let's follow the coronary sinus superiorly. You've got the descending thoracic aorta at its posterior aspect. We're going to scroll through the scan as we go upwards. You can see it continues through in forward and in front of the left sided pulmonary veins and it continues upwards into this location and further upwards and here we are at the level of the aortic arch where the ascending thoracic aorta is seen crossing through to the descending thoracic aorta in most people you have a vessel here, which is the superior vena cava. And in this patient, it's not present. And instead, you have this vessel here. If you follow it more superiorly, you can see that it drains into the left brachycephalic vein. So in this patient, there is no normal right-sided superior vena cava but an anatomical variant where there is a left-sided superior vena cava draining into the coronary sinus. In the context of a left superior vena cava the commonest drainage pattern is into the superior vena cava uh, into the coronary sinus. In a small subset of patients it can drain into the left atrium, which can be more problematic in terms of arterial and venous mixing. References containing the vena cava anatomy as well as causes of a coronary sinus dilatation is outlined below.